What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a seated Smith machine shoulder press. Now, let's go over some mistakes people make, right? Number one, right? The mistake most people make, right? Their seat is flat and, okay, bench is at 90 degrees. This is a 90 degree angle, guys, and there's a lot of problems here. Number one, you're not gonna be able to get a great path of movement to train your front delts. You're gonna be out here and very impinged. And number two, the seat's flat. So not only are you gonna be out here and impinged, but as the seg is hard, you're gonna be moving here. Oh, oh, you're gonna fall down, right? We don't want that. What are we gonna do? We're gonna drop this back one notch, right? This is different for every gym, but it needs to be anywhere from 70 degrees to 80 degrees, okay? I'm dropping the back one here, and then I'm dropping the seat down one notch, right? So that it makes a V, okay? And this V is gonna keep my butt in place while I press. From there, my leg cues. My butt is squeezed and my knees are pushing out, okay? Very easy, very simple, right? Butt squeeze, knees pushing out. From there, okay, I'm gonna adjust this real quick, okay? Like this. The knurling, right? The knurling is this rough, spiky part of the Smith machine. I normally, come, come in here, let me show them. See this line on my thumb right here, this little line right here? This is where I put my hand on the start of a knurling and a shoulder press. Again, this is different for every machine, but for this specific one, this is where I put my arms, right? From there, we wanna think about having our shoulders up, back, and down, right? And making our chest, or in this case, our front delts, the highest point in the range of motion. From there, okay, we need to unrack the Smith machine perfectly, right? So normally what we do is we do our L grip, twist, grip, and unrack. But we're not unracking a barbell or dumbbells. We're unracking back on a Smith machine. So our wrists are gonna take a hit and our elbows are gonna, or our knuckles are gonna be facing back. So we don't want that. So instead of being here, right, we're gonna be here. So we're gonna unrack here like this. We're gonna get our grip in line and we're gonna unrack up here, twist, grip, and then we're gonna unrack just like this, right? From there, okay, glutes squeezed, knees pushed out, chest and shoulders are the highest point in the movement. Elbows are not tracking back like this. I hate this. If you're doing this, this is wrong, right? Elbows are forward, right? Tucked and forward. That's why we did our bend the bar cue. That's why we bent, gripped, and twisted, right? Because when we do this cue up here, right? We're up here, twist, grab, and grip. We're not only locking in our triceps, but we're locking in and engaging our lats, right? So we're up here, right? And we're gonna lower the weight, right? Chest is the highest point, delt to the highest point, knees are pushing out, glutes are squeezed. One, two, three, to just below our chin. We're going to below our chin, guys. If it's more comfortable for you, you can touch your chest, but I'll go below your chin, and we're gonna press straight up just like this. Boom, full lockout. One, two, three. Notice my elbows are in front of me. They're not tracking behind me. When I see this, I get upset. Elbows are in front of me. One, two, three. Press up, full lockout, full contraction on the side delts. One, two, three, boom. Okay, three rack. And that, guys, is how you do your Smith Machine shoulder press. 